Tuesday afternoon and welcome back. You're taking a live look right now over downtown Bryan as we are seeing overcast skies. We have some rain that developed here recently. Off and on rain will continue to be possible throughout the course of the afternoon. Out the door right now, it is 73 degrees. The average high temperature is 64. So we are almost 10 degrees above the average high and it's only 12 o'clock. So that gives you an idea of how warm it is with 78% relative humidity. And so far today we have picked up 13 hundredths of an inch of rain here in Bryan College Station. Speaking of which, there's a lot of it now. We have two different bands of rain. First of all, showers and thunderstorms that are pushing in ahead of this front, and then we also have a line of thunderstorms that's trying to develop here in the northwestern portions of the New Street viewing area. All of this activity is lifting toward the north and east, and first of all, we'll go over toward northern Robertson County, where we continue to see some light to moderate rain from Bremond up toward the northern portions of the county and into western Leon County, also extending back into portions of Limestone County, where the rain picks up a little bit. Closer to home, not too much is taking place again. There was one heavy shower that did developed just east of College Station, but that has now pushed off into the eastern portions of Brasses County, and we have some shower activity which continues across Montgomery County down toward the Woodlands, extending up toward Conroe. This is some moderate, sometimes heavy rain, extending all the way back toward Magnolia. This too will continue to lift toward the north and east and affect San Jacinto County. And you guys are already getting plenty of rain, especially southeast of Cold Spring around Lake Livingston. Some light rain there that will continue to drift northeastward and back into Walker County. We are also seeing very heavy rain now over Huntsville. That too will continue to move toward Dodge. Riverside and eventually across Lake Livingston. So plenty of rain to talk about. There is a slight risk for severe weather, but I think that risk is more northeast of us. But the rain will continue closer to home at least for the next couple of hours before our cold front moves across the region. Here's your pinpoint forecast and we are showing the line and everything in front of it pushing across the Rasses Valley by six o'clock. We do see some clearing briefly, but the clouds will return overnight. Notice a little bit of rain developing here in Bryan College Station. Now, if this rain happens to stretch as far north as, let's say, Hearn or Bremont, which I don't think it will do, there's a slight chance that for those of you in Robertson and Leon counties, any precip that we do get may be in the form of very light rain or light sleet. But again, that's north of the Twin Cities, and I don't think that's something we'll have to worry about. We do have a wind advisory that's in effect, though. And this is important because this wind advisory is because of a northerly wind that will be at about 10 to 20 on Wednesday. It's going to make it feel a lot colder than what it really is. And the high on Wednesday is only about 49 degrees. And it's all because of this powerful upper level low pressure system, which is pushing across the country. And that is going to be responsible for some pretty cold air here over the next couple of days. Your seven day outlook will show just that 49 degrees on Wednesday afternoon, Crystal, with the 30% chance for light rain early. And then we clear things out by the end of the week. See, and I just thought it was my sprinkler system this morning <laughs> that left the lawn all wet. But yeah, a little bit of rain here. There you go. Okay. Thanks a lot, Rodney.